bag over your head. And this man still has lust in his heart. It's not good. <laughs> if you wear a burlap sack to make some, some pastor feel comfortable, it's not going to be enough. If his wife is jealous or thinks my husband be on this platform with two beautiful women, somehow I don't trust him. That's something that he needs to work out at home. That ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I, I want you to be who God's created you to be and not think you need to shrink back to be, to make other people feel okay. If you're too much for other people and that's on them, don't change you. Don't change you. I have a lot. God has entrusted me with relationships with a lot of beautiful women mm -hmm. because they know two things. I love them and I don't want to have sex with them. Their bodies are safe with me. Their souls are safe with me. Their minds are safe with me. I'm in love with Juliet. <laughs> you, you, you guys are, have the cutest, best relationship. You do love her so much. I do. I do. So y'all can be as beautiful as you want. Yeah. And... And you're my little sisters. Ew. <laughs> what is that? Is you are me a god. All right. So um, the whole concept here is um, these are what, girls gone Bible. Girls gone Bible. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, it's two, is it two or three white girls that two. Two there's two of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess the their mo is there's they're beautiful girls who are going on all these podcasts talking about God, talking about the life that they used to live. Mm -hmm. And I guess he's responding. I didn't see the whole thing. So I guess. It, He's responding to them getting backlash for yeah, being having their pretty, hair done, yeah. and you know. So, what do you think about what he said to them? It's a dangerous line. Oh, um, I do think, and I do believe in modesty. I ain't saying you gotta, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you gotta be in no burlap sack. But I do believe a woman can have be appealing and also not have herself uh, exposed to the point where she could become a stumbling block. But I do also agree with the aspect of it's not solely on the woman to try to go out here and have to be um, aesthetically pleasing to every man. Like as a man, you do need to have some self-control. You do need to be able to control yourself when you're around beautiful women. It's like, it's, it's, just, it's just to the point where I feel like if you have the Holy Spirit as a woman and as a man, as a woman, you know, okay, it's a certain line I shouldn't cross as a woman to God because I know yeah. this can go a certain way. I, I can still be appealing for my husband to go out here and wear outfits I think are nice that, that fit me without me crossing the line as a man. You know, okay, we see attractive women all the time. You know, so we were talking about that before the show. And uh, well, I was. Clean <laughs> <laughs> it up. Clean it up. I was talking about that before here. the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, like you'll see it. And then, you know, when you start looking at it for too long, then the certain things start going to your mind. You see it, you recognize it. Cool, I'm going to look this way. Uh, even some of my guys, man, we go on the road. And we see some attractive females and we find ourselves looking too long. We got a little thing where we do push-ups. Like, you looking for past, you look you look past for three seconds. Drop and give me 50. Yep, more than, oh, hey, not 50. If, you, if you're looking for more than three seconds, that's 10 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of oh, us was in funny. shape. You know what I'm saying? But we learned. Like, but, but we learned. You know what I'm saying? But, shape. But it helped me. The going to come back like the Hulk. Yeah. So it's, it's a thin line, you know. So I think the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit yeah. be your guide. You know what I'm saying? I'll uh, say this. But. You definitely got to use wisdom, right? And I don't. I disagree with what Tim Ross said because I I know at my church, right? Um, male pastors do not counsel female um, uh, attendees, and female pastors do not counsel male attendees, and that's because it's de it's designed that way not to cross any kind of lines. I've heard my pastor say when he has to meet with people he leaves his door open if it's a person of the opposite sex the door is going to be open so it's like you have to use wisdom because you can't um you can't you can't sit there and determine that you know um somebody else isn't going to try you to that point you know what i'm saying like you may be fine but that other person may be somebody who's like i'm determined you know to get to you it happened to me in high school where it was like <laughs> they were determined to get to me and i had to be that person that was like no i'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to compromise what I believe, my morals, my mm. beliefs. So I feel like you have to use wisdom in any situation, any situation. Mm. Um, I think it's a two-part thing. Um, honestly, I think, <coughs> I think it's for the man, you got to control your lusts. You got to mm -hmm. control those desires. You got to have self-control. I mean, period. Um, but then also I think for 
women who are purposely doing that, like purposely revealing stuff and all like that, then um, we got to... You got to talk about that too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, for women who come into a church or come into a church environment, and she may not know. I think that's a difference when she's like trying to figure this stuff out. But for yeah. women who been at the church for like ten years and she's still coming in with cleavage, then that, that's a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I think it's all about motives. If my motives as a man is to lust after you, then I'm dead wrong. But if my motives, if for a woman, if her motives is for you to lust, that same reaction. And that's wrong too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's 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 both streets. And I think what he was trying to give to them was, you guys can do you. Um, the men need is shaping up. But my prayer is that even if they do them, they they have the mindset of I don't want to take this man out. I don't want to mm -hmm. take men out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Based on I've only seen the couple clips that we played on the show when she, they were talking to Janko yeah. or I think there was one other group I saw I heard them talking to. I'm trying to just. Just take it as what it was. It seemed to me that they received it as like kind of like a, a relief yeah. to know that. Um, I, I, and made me think of Bible characters. Like um, I think didn't it describe David as being like one of the the most handsome men mm -hmm. out of all the all the people. Joseph. So, <clears throat> do you? My first question is: Do you believe beauty is a gift from God to be used for His purposes? Mm. I do. Oh, That's a good question. That. The, the, the trick is tr that's tricky that. though. I believe it is, but who's to say who's beautiful and who's not? It's subjective. That's, yeah, but that's that's my question. In the Bible, it said, and y'all y'all look for it because I just thought of this. I didn't look I didn't look it up. But in the Bible, it says something about the fact that David was like a handsome person, like mm -hmm. like like on purpose. Yeah, Esther too. Right. Pretty. So it's like and Leo does, is that <laughs> yeah. is that objective or subjective? The Bible said she was pretty. Yeah. He was yeah. handsome. Yeah. yeah. So are we kind of just lying to ourselves and saying like, oh yeah, everybody's beautiful? Well, God was like, no, I made that person beautiful and I made you not beautiful. He said they said Jesus was essentially not beautiful. Mm. Right. Yeah, so yeah. are we are we ignoring the fact that that attribute of a person so is say, intentional? Our savior was ugly. <laughs> We had an ugly savior. Says you was un like unassuming. He's you still my you savior. Tough, He's got a love of my soul. You wouldn't pick him out of a lineup to, you know what I mean? Like it said that that's how I described him. So, so that's how you stay single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I say it like this. Some people may have a, um, a beauty or, or be maybe handsome to a woman that may be what we call above average. Not saying that everybody else isn't beautiful, isn't handsome. Some people have a certain look that kind of stands out that's a little more. Is there just an objective beauty standard? Because if it is a gift that God wants you to use for mm -hmm. his purposes, then I could understand them, if, if that is a gift that they've been given, I can understand them feeling like people are hating on them for having that gift, mm. right? And if that is the case, his words to them could have been comforting to know it is not my fault, right? <laughs> yeah. This is not God my fault. I'm way. not doing anything extra. I, from what I've seen, they're not like showing nothing or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah. to get mad at me for this is ridiculous. And it's making, me make, it's making me want to feel small when God wants me to be it's, big. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many different layers to it. Like you definitely have like just that aesthetic beauty. Um, but quite honestly, I believe that aesthetic beauty is kind of like, could be like, the baseline, if you will, because really it's the qualities of a person, number one, that make them even more attractive. But then also, too, it's the anointing of God mm -hmm. that makes people even more attractive. Because, mm -hmm. like, you could literally take someone that just baseline is aesthetically beautiful, and if they have horrible character, they're yeah. ugly. If yeah. they in sin, it's even worse. Like, so it's like, I feel like that is just like the baseline. But I do believe that God can and does use it for his glory. Like I know there are people that may be drawn to me and it's literally the light of Christ Jesus that they see. They not, may not even realize it. But in that moment, I have to decide, okay, is it because I'm fly? Is it because, <laughs> like, how do you want to use this guy? Like, how do you want to use it? And I'm not mm. saying I'm like a Vogue model or whatever, but I know that there is a light that I carry mm -hmm. and it's my, it's up to me as to how I steward it. Bottom mm -hmm. line. Yeah, I got chomped off like that. Somebody said, you look basic, but you know what I'm saying? You're, 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 like, you're, like, you're attractive because you know the word. I was like, well, hey, whatever works. Oh, hey, whatever often, works. Whatever works, you know what But I know, people, I know people that use that as a manipulation tool as well, yeah. and that's very dangerous. What do you mean? So they'll use their beauty as a, as a way to manipulate others to get things that they want. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's dangerous. 
And so I feel like um, I, I feel like I feel like this this every time I think about somebody using their um, their humility, I always think about D one, right? I feel like if D one was in a room with all these artists and things like that, it wouldn't change who he is. But I feel like if some of our artists got in a room with some of these celebrities, it might change who they are. And so I feel like the same way in a way that people feel um, attractive people who who believe and think they're attractive have been told many times they have a humility about it. But then you have some people who are like, oh, I'm using this to get my way. I'm going to use this to to catapult my X, Y, Z, right? But again, but, it's, it's like every gift, right? God gives you a gift. He, he intends for you to use it for him and you use it for yourself. If you're a great singer, you can use that either for him or for yeah. yourself. If you have been given natural beauty, it's for him or yourself. If you are good at being a carpenter or whatever, you could either yeah. use it for you or for yourself. So why are you use, what are you using it for? Mm-hmm. Are you mm-hmm. using it? And I, I don't know these young ladies. Are you using whatever people perceive you to have in order to grow your channel and to make yourself feel important? Or are you using it to spread the gospel, right? So that's everybody's battle to figure yeah, out yeah, what gifts, fine. whatever gifts I've been given, am I using it for me or am I using it for him? Yeah. And if they're using it for him, like there's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 